الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي لحبت في الله it's imperative for us as muslims to busy ourselves with that which will benefit us not that which will cause us more sin not that which will cause us to be further from Allah عز وجل عن ابي هريره رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من حسن الاسلام المرئي تركه ما لا يعنيه رواه الترمذي وابن ماجه باسناد صحيح in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the hadith of abi huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu who said that the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said from the beautiful islam of a person is his leaving that which does not benefit from him uh, cause him benefit alhamdulillah it's very important for us to busy ourselves with those things which will benefit us and not worry so much about those things which we may not have the ability to know about for example some of those things is asking extensive questions about uh affairs of the unseen that we don't know because if it doesn't come from the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the authentic prophet uh, authentic sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then it is perhaps difficult to take that into your creed you cannot take it from your creed if it's not coming from kitab illa wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam there's no dalil for that even if it sounds beautiful even if it sounds good even if it has nice details and so forth so we have to be careful about spending excessive time that doesn't mean for benefiting knowledge to know more and know more athar of the salaf and and so forth but to not get deeply in those affairs which we have no concern which are not going to bring you closer to allah which knowledge that you really can't know exactly the uh specific details of for example of whether uh you know uh, Mus- uh non-muslims that have never heard of islam if they're going to be tested if they're going to jinna or not to go too deep into those masail to the extent beyond the extent that the shar has given us in as far as text as far as what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran and what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the authentic sunnah then we can only then we we stop there but to go excessively and ask about all the details that's not beneficial for you in this hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam there's immense benefit which shows us the importance of this one of the things the islam al mar'i that uh, the the beautiful islam of a person mean their istislamihi wa inqiyalihi fil islam husn bi dhatihi wa yazid husnahu bi hadha al adab ar rafiq alladhi yahfiz lil insan qalbuhu fa la yashtaghil bi ghayri allah ta'ala wa yahfiz lahu lisanahu fa la yaqul illa al khair aw yasmat wa yuhafiz basruhu fa la yanzur illa lima fihi al ajr والثواب وكذلك بقيه جوارحه لا تعمل الا ما فيه سعاده دنياها واخراها this is a beautiful uh statement here that with regards to a person's uh righteous islam or their good and beneficial islam is that they submit fully to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to his commandments and righteous or husn al-islam islam in and of itself is husn is 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 everything that's beneficial and good and a person increases their righteousness with this by practicing this righteous adab this righteous mannerisms of not involving themselves in those things which have no benefit for them because this helps to protect a person's heart and then they do not busy themselves with anything besides the law of the almighty and they protect their tongue it helps to preserve your tongue by not getting involved in those things which have no benefit and then they only say that which is good or else they're silent and it helps to protect a person's eyes their basr their gaze because then they do not look at anything except that which has ajr and that which has reward from allah and likewise the rest of their limbs they do not do anything except that it brings benefit in this life or and or in the hereafter this is what this hadith brings about the benefit for us and likewise leaving that which does not 
benefit you or what you have no business you have no uh, business with. So, for example, habitatillah, involving ourselves about the latest riba and the latest namima. What did so-and-so do? Let's follow the mistakes more and more of so-and-so. Let's find out what the latest statement of so-and-so is, even if they're from Ahl bidah because you can only take so much of that stuff and practice your deen. That is for those people who are Ahl and Fadalik, those people who are uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favor to be able to handle that in their hearts and look at the mistakes of Ahl bidah and refute the mistakes of Ahl bidah so you can't spend all of your time doing that. Then you won't have time to put the good things of reading the Qur'an, re, re, uh, revising the Qur'an, revising the sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, practicing the sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, because you'll be too busy looking at the mistakes of others, either in their books, either in their tapes, either on their YouTube videos, whatever, wherever you find it. So you can't busy yourself with every single uh, bid'ah that's out there in the world because there's no way you can protect your heart from that. That takes those people who are strong for that. Those people from Ahl Sunnah who have ilm and fiqh and who can do that. So that doesn't mean we ignore those things. But don't busy yourself always with that. Always with refutations. Always with knowing the mistakes of others. But instead, save yourself and your family from the fire. Some of the benefits we gain from this hadith, likewise, is that the mu'min, that they, this, this hadith shows us that uh, the Perfection of righteous deeds. The person has husn al-Islam, and those two traits that they possess is that they leave those things which don't benefit them, and they uh, are doing righteous deeds and busy themselves with those things which will bring them closer to Allah. That that's an aspect of mannerism, and this is why Imam Nawawi mentioned it in his Arba'in uh, Hadith Nawawi. Another benefit of this Hadith is this Hadith gives us the proper Islamic tarbiya, the proper Islamic Adam, you know, manners and education to show us to not busy ourselves with those things which have no benefit, which not bring us closer to Allah. This hadith also shows us that it's important for us to distinguish between righteousness and qabih and those things which are wicked and sinful and sickness. So if someone comes to you and says, hey, busy yourself with backbiting so-and-so. Busy yourself with talking about so-and-so. Busy yourself with cursing so-and-so and speaking harsh against so-and-so then you know that that person is not calling you to good and they're not calling you to that which will benefit you. And if they're not calling you to, you to that which will benefit you, then you should avoid that and you should avoid their statements. Another benefit of this hadith is that Islam is, brings you a salama in your life. The more we practice our Islam, the more that we have stronger iman, then the better off we are in our life. And we know this. We know this, but we still commit sins day and night, sometimes the major sins, knowing full well that it has no benefit for you in this life or the hereafter. And I'll give you an example. For those people who commit zina or those people who smoke weed, when you smoke weed, you get high for a minute. You feel good for a minute, for a little bit, but then you go down and you go down. You come down from your high. You're hungry. You, you feel the, those side effects. So for that bit of haram that you took and the tiny bit of pleasure that you received, what is the punishment? The punishment is so great for that. And how does that affect your prayer? How does that affect you in the rest of your life? So you did, you took a little bit of this dunya, a little pleasure of this dunya at the expense of the hereafter. Those things have no benefit for you. So Islam teaches you to distinguish between haq and batil and distinguish between uh, that which is qabih, that which is uh, sinful and wicked, and that which is righteous and clean. Another benefit of this hadith is the importance and the benefit of practicing your Islam, that you can make your Islam husn if you uh, stay away from those things which busy you, busy you with those things which won't bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another benefit of this hadith, ishtigal al-abd bima ya'nihi وينفعه, that uh, uh, the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to busy his or herself with those things which will benefit them and leave off those things which they have no business involving themselves in. Another benefit of this hadith is leaving off those things which is none of their business uh, and will not benefit them in the hereafter. 
And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with ilm al-nafiyah, wa rizq al-tayyibah, wa amal al-mutaqabbinan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.